Greetings, you, you. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Inspired Japanese Cooking. In my channel, I'm introducing mainly Japanese dishes with ingredients that we can get in the US or hopefully other countries outside Japan. Today, I'd like to show you more recipes with the homemade dashi soy sauce that I introduced in the past video. If you'd like to know how to cook easy homemade dashi soy sauce, please check out my past video. I left the link to the video in the description box, but here it is. You just mix soy sauce, mirin, water, dashi powder in a pot and boil for 5 seconds. This soy sauce can be vegan and the dishes I'm going to show you today can be vegan too. So today, I'm going to be making avocado toast with a dashi soy sauce and it will be something you've probably never tasted before. Just adding in soy sauce in the avocado gives a strong soy sauce taste. But the dashi soy sauce has a nice mild taste, so it gives just the right amount of saltiness and umami. It's great for your busy morning. Thanks to the dashi soy sauce, you'll be able to make a delicious Japanese fusion breakfast really quick. First, cut the large avocado and smash it in a bowl with one tablespoon of dashi soy sauce. It's easier to use a fork rather than a spoon to smash the avocado. Mix them well and just spread the avocado on the toast. Super easy! And since we can really say it's a recipe, I'm gonna show you multiple ways to make it more delicious. First one is dashi avocado toast with black pepper. You just add the black pepper as much as you want. Dashi avocado has mild and comforting taste, but the black pepper has a great kick. I added it slices of a red radish to give it a good crunch too. Next one is dashi avocado toast with wasabi. Add 1 teaspoon of wasabi to the dashi avocado mixture and mix them well. If you want to have a little bit of wasabi taste, try adding a half teaspoon of wasabi first to try the taste before adding more. I used this wasabi in a tube that I got from the Asian section of a grocery store. You can also use leftover wasabi packets from your sushi delivery if they're unopened, so hang on to those. If you have some leftover seaweed from your last sushi party, this is the time to use it. With the wasabi and the seaweed, it will have a more complex taste, and if you serve it with some crackers, it can be a great Asian fusion appetizer. So we enjoyed this avocado wasabi mixture with some crackers and a sparkling sake, and it was wonderful. To make the sake sparkling cocktail is very easy. Just mix 3 parts sake to 2 parts sparkling water. Very refreshing, and you don't need to buy an expensive sake for this, so please try it. The next one is dashi avocado toast with cheese. That's how we say cheese in Japanese. Cream cheese or mozzarella blend might be better for this toast since they won't mask the mild dashi flavor. If you want to stick with vegan, you can use vegan cheese as well. I like this Kyoko's vegan cream cheese and it's very tasty. Toast it a little bit before eating to melt the cheese, but don't toast it too much because the color of the avocado becomes brown. Added in some sesame seeds is great too. We tried this avocado toast in multiple ways and actually I like the wasabi with seaweed one the best. My husband likes the cream cheese with sesame seeds the most. All of them are super easy to make, but quite different from a usual avocado toast and a great way to use your homemade dashi soy sauce. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again! Bye